Oh, my name's Tech Lucem, and uh, I go under the moniker of uh, Technion, which is abbreviated for Total Extreme Killing Nothing in Absolute. I'm from a small country town, Euroa, which is uh, northeast Victoria. Ned Kelly robbed the bank of Euroa, so that's a bit of a trivia for you. Um, so that's pretty much its only main claim to fame. And tonight I've always had the gift of music because I got the singing voice from my mum and I got the, the talent off my dad, so I get the best of both worlds. As singer songwriter musicians, it's imp important to have a, a diverse range in what we can play because if you only just play blues or you only just play metal or you're a children's act or whatever, you limit your audience that you're, you're targeting. Every set is different, I never play the same set twice. And the reason I, I do that is one, so that I don't get bored of playing the same songs over in the same set, and then two, the audience doesn't get bored. What you can expect is a, a mix of different music. If there's a style of music that I haven't done, I'll do it. At the moment, I'm just focusing on just solo acoustic for the time being, and then just sort of building up slowly, you know, from the ground up. Most of the time, I'm busking on weekends at markets, and I'm now sort of expanding to other areas. Some of the places I've played: the Max Hotel in Geelong. Saints and Sailors in Port Arlington, I've played there a few times. Uh, the Romji Hotel up at Romji, I've played there. The whole lot of Love Bar a few times. I've played at Carter's Public House. I'm playing just anywhere and everywhere I can, basically. I've never been particularly uh, confident. I've always been very self-conscious of what other people think of me. Um, a lot of that comes from you know, my childhood, right into my teenagehood, because um, I was born deaf. And uh, so being in a small country town, being the only deaf kid in school, um, you can imagine the bias and uh, the bullying that I went through. Our songwriters, we're basically the voice to people who have none, because there's a lot of people who don't know how to express themselves and, and some people are just not good with words so that I think is, is for us as songwriters where we play a pivotal role in being able to um, give those people a voice and that's basically all we are, we're just messengers um, but we do it in an entertaining way that, that captivates the audience and that's what I hope to do with what I'm doing. I did my first uh, EP, uh, Streetways, uh, with Graham Hodge at Redwood Recording Studios in Ballarat uh, in 2007. I eventually discovered uh, a band called the Manic Street Preachers, and uh, yeah, I, was, I fell in love with the lyric writing of the Manic Street Preachers, and that helped shape uh, the style of writing that I do. I'd love to be able to share the stage with some of the, the bands that I've, um, I've looked up to. You know, the Manic Street Preachers and Ash are two of the bands that I would absolutely love to, to share the stage with. Some of the local acts like Lior, Bob Evans, Josh Pike, they're three that I'd love to be able to um, share the stage with, absolutely. I haven't played this one for a while, but this is a song that everyone knows, especially from their early childhood. I want to make sure everyone sings this one. Every band will tell you that when the, energy, you know, when the audience feeds off the energy you give out and, and it's, sort of, it's, it's a two-way street, you know, you're giving the energy out 
and then they, they receive that and when they respond in the same manner back, it's, I can't tell you, it's, it's such a blessing to get that. Thank you very much everyone. God bless you. Good night. Woo! That was Tech Deal, ladies and gents.